Hello everyone, welcome back. If you're having difficulty with the final boss in chapter 3, Yellow Brow, I hope this video helps you out. It has a total of 3 phases. The first phase is pretty simple, it's not very difficult, you should be able to go through it without too much of a trouble. He is not very fast at that stage and the attacks are all pretty slow. You can kind of see it coming and dodge. There's plenty of time for that. So I think most people don't find any issue here in this area. Once you get onto the second stage, the only time that it becomes a little bit difficult is when he summons duplicates to attack you. So it may get a little bit messy at that time. However, luckily, you also at that point have a companion with you. So the whole thing should not be any issue. Now, let's talk about the third phase, which is I think the area where most people are having trouble. Before we get into it, one spirit that can help with this fight is the Ashen Slumber Spirit that you obtain during the quest that spans from chapter 2 to the beginning of chapter 3. I do have a video on how to obtain that spirit. If you like, you can go check it out. I don't think it is necessary. As long as you approach this fight methodically with patience and you know the mechanics as I'm going to show you, it should be pretty simple. So. The key things to be aware of during this fight. When he is in his regular form, you can just attack him, do all the damage that you can while dodging and staying away from his attack. That is the window that you have to do damage. The moment he turns into gold and is able to just deflect all damages and the spells do not work, in fact, if you summon your duplicates, he is able to turn those against you you just want to stay away. There is no point of trying to do any sort of damage. You're not supposed to. I think the game kind of was designed so that you cannot do any damage because he has a lot of dialogue that has to go through. So don't try at all to do anything. Just stay away. At one point, he's going to enclose you in a circle. You're able to actually get out of that circle by jumping, but however, really, there's no need to do that. All you have to do is just kind of stay there, remain there, and he's going to shoot balls at you. At that point, all you have to do is do the spinny thing, you know, that he does with the stuff to deflect all those bolts and you can just use the basic one. There is no need to put any sparks to upgrade that particular skill tree. Just a regular basic one, just stay inside that circle. You should have plenty of stamina to kind of go through for the entire section of that part. Once you deflect them, you're gonna just still keep your distance. Don't do any attack. Wait until he blows up. He's gonna do this kind of absorb a bunch of electricity and do a blow up. When he does that, you want to be far away enough from that. And once that's done, then he comes back to his regular form. And that is the moment that you want to do damage again. And this whole thing just basically repeats. You're basically just doing that. You're waiting him out. You're waiting for the boss to go back to his regular state. Then you can use Cloud Step to go in, charge the heavy attack while in Cloud Step and do as much damage as you can. And after that, just follow until you get another charge. There are two scenes that are going to happen in there that are just unavoidable. For some reason, they decided to take health out of your character anyway, and that happens about two thirds into his health bar, so it happens twice. So make sure you're not like under 20% of health when that happens because then the captain is just completely going to destroy you. So make sure you just have enough to survive that. I'm gonna let now the entire gameplay play out so you can have an idea of how this looks like. And other than that, that's pretty much it. So good luck in your journey. Thank you all for watching. Enjoy the game and I'll see you all in the next video.
Only because I saw some promise with it. Another one. All four are illusions. Do you not see? Those who follow me pursue life. Only you hasten to warn death. But a decaying form, focusing on them, leads you up to Only you hasten towards death. 
Thank <laughs> you. 